so hey guys welcome back to my channel hope you're doing extremely well and this is your very own mass code on this side so today's problem is count pairs in an array and let us look at the approach today okay so the problem says that you have been given an array suppose your array is 8 4 2 1 now you have to tell me the number of pairs you have to tell me the number of pairs which satisfy the following condition i is less than j and i star arr i is greater than j star arr j this is the condition you have to tell me how many pairs are there which follow this condition right we have to uh, follow zero base indexing and i are, are actually representing the indexes right okay so for the given problem 8 4 2 1 what are the indexes so it is at index 0 it is at index 1 it is at index 2 it is at index 3 right okay so 8 into 0 becomes 0 4 into 1 becomes 4 2 into 2 becomes 4 3 into 1 becomes 3 and this is my array which is representing x star ARRX right and now basically I have to find the number of pairs in this array let us name it as s such that i is less than j and s of i is greater than s of j right this is the condition I have to tell I have to tell the number of pairs i j right okay so what are the number of pairs i j right so you can say 0 4 is it for is it a pair no 0 4 no 0 3 no about 4 3 4 3 is a pair this is a pair and about 4 3 this 4 3 is a pair so I have got two pairs and you can see my answer is given to be two only right okay now how will I solve this how will I solve this problem so the first approach is the brute force approach which says use two loops use two loops nested loops I mean so for i equals to 0 up till n minus 1 the outer loop will go from 0 to n minus 1 and because I want j to be always greater than i to be always greater than i that means I will j will go from i plus 1 up till n and if i star arr i is greater than j star arr j in that case count plus plus I will keep a count equals to 0 here which will be the answer and after this loop ends I will return count right now what is the time complexity of this approach so you can obviously see this is running n times and this is running uh, n minus i times right and what is the time complexity it will be n square it will be n square right okay now what is the optimized approach see the question is given to be a hard category but I feel if you already are familiar with the DSC concepts right so you have covered up the concept I am going to use so what was my deduced array I was saying that x star ARRX looks like 0 4 4 3 0 4 4 3 and in this I have to find i less than j and let us name it as s so s of i greater than s of j this is the condition I have to find I have to find the number of pairs with this condition right is this condition not equals to the count inversion this condition is actually all the way equivalent to count inversion there is nothing difficult in that right so what I will do I will use the uh, uh, already discussed code of count inversion and I will just return the inversion count in this array right so first I will say for i going from 0 up till n minus 1 arr i becomes multiplied by i right this will give me s this reduced array right this preprocessed array and then I will say return inversion count of arr with n right this is my code this is my only code the code of inversion count is already discussed in a previous video I will attach the link in the description make sure to watch that and that's all let's move on to the coding area all right so let's begin with the coding now I have already copied my uh, count inversion code in the clipboard so I will paste it and I will just do the required steps in the main function so what I will do I will say for int i going from 0 up till n let me zoom it in a little i plus plus 
ARRI star equals to I. This will pre-process my array and I will say return inversion count of ARR with its size n. Right? This should work fine. Let us try to compile and run it. In the meantime, if you are new here, do not forget to subscribe my channel and hit the like button. And be, make sure to connect with me on LinkedIn and Instagram and other social media platforms wherever you find me. And let us try to submit it. So as you can see the counter is going up and we have completed today's test case also. The current stake is 124 days. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe the channel and like the hit the like button. And we'll meet tomorrow with a new question. Thank you. Have a nice day.